Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you, well not just me, myself and my boyfriend, we'll be showing you how to make authentic Jamaican jerk seasoning from scratch. He's made jerk seasoning his entire life, so we decided to share this video for any of you who are interested. It's pretty simple. I was actually surprised at how easy it was to make. You can find all the ingredients at your local grocery store. I know it's hard to come by jerk seasoning sometimes. So this is an easy way to make it at home. It adds so much flavor and spice to your food. You can put it on chicken, you can put it on pork, you can put it on any kind of meat you like. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it and let's get started. So, um, before we get started, I'm gonna go over everything you're gonna need. So you're gonna need some water some brown sugar this is some lime juice some cinnamon ground nutmeg black pepper ground black pepper some chili flakes some browning, some mushroom flavored soy sauce, some table salt, and then for the veggies, we're gonna use some onions, we have some green peppers, some red peppers, some yellow peppers, some ginger, some garlic, and some scotch bonnet peppers and then we're going to use some parsley some celery some scallions and some thyme and then of course you'll need a knife to like cut up all of the veggies and a cutting board and then a blender to blend up your seasoning so let's get started okay so now my boyfriend is going to take over and he's going to show us how he makes his homemade jerk seasoning from scratch. So first off, we're gonna start off with um, some of the green veggies. So I'm gonna start off with some of the parsley. Some thyme. Some celery. Some scallion or green onions. And then Do you want to use all? Yeah, I think we should just toss it all in. <laughs> I'm making a mess. <laughs> so I've never made jerk seasoning before, so this is gonna be like new for me too. But um, everybody in my house loves jerk, so. I'm gonna add a little water to it. That's to help to use the blender, not to put too much pressure on the blades. So I'm gonna put it on the blender, just to make it soften and make it into a paste. So, um, question, how much of the green, like, vegetables did you use? Well, so, like, how much green onions, how much parsley? Well, well, I don't really measure, but I just put, like, a handful. So, I just handful, like, that amount, and I toss it in until, like, I feel like, okay, that's enough. I don't really measure it because that's how I grew up cooking, and even back home, that's how we do it. We don't really use a measuring cup or such or spoons and all that to measure stuff okay we just toss it in until like we feel like okay that's enough son and we just stop okay so about like a handful of yeah everything okay 
Cool, so we just mixed up the green stuff and we added some water. Now what's next? Now we're gonna add uh, some more of our vegetables here. So we're gonna add some bell peppers, green. Add some onions. Maybe a little bit more. Some garlic. And I'm going to add the scotch bunny peppers. And use all of it. And guys, be careful with scotch bonnet because it's really hot. If you're working with it, make sure to wash your hands right after and don't touch your eyes because it will start to burn. Or you could use a glove, that works. That's yeah, effective. probably wear gloves if you're working with Scotch Bonnet. Okay, now we're gonna blend it all together. Well, that's what it's Very looking strong. like right now. Right. So it smells really, really spicy and hot. Yeah, very hot. So now I'm going to add about a pinch of salt. And add some chili flakes. Let's see. Pepper. Not too much, guys. Oh my gosh, I can smell it from here. <laughs> it's very strong. Some cinnamon. Lime or lemon juice. Or could you use vinegar? About a teaspoon of sugar. Uh, and that's brown sugar, right? Yes. Uh, some people use molasses. Then we can add some soy sauce. About a teaspoon. A bit of browning. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. A lot of spices in there. Um, are we gonna be adding the rest of that stuff or? No, the rest of that stuff, I'm gonna save it for, um, for the chicken. When I put the paste on, I add these, the remaining ingredients here that's left over to the chicken to add more flavor. Okay, and we're gonna be doing a video on how to make jerk chicken next. So you'll see how we do that. Okay, so we're gonna blend this again, right? Yes, blend this. And this is the final look. So this is what it looks like. It's very strong. Just gonna smell it. Hmm. Oh yeah, it is strong. That's what it's looking like. I'll just grab a bottle of jerk seasoning that we do have so we can compare. So this is a jerk seasoning that my family loves. It's the Walker's Wood traditional Jamaican jerk seasoning, hot and spicy. And if you look, they look very similar in terms of like color. How does the taste? Oh my God. Tastes good? Very spicy. Mm. But does it taste like jerk? Yeah. Oh, okay. So <laughs> this is it guys. This is how you make jerk seasoning. I know it's really hard to find jerk seasoning at the grocery store sometimes. So if you ever are feeling for jerk and 
you can't find it at the store, you can always make it yourself, as you can see. It was really simple. All these ingredients you can find at your local grocery store, and it makes your chicken taste finger-licking good. So that's it, guys. It's that simple. That's how you make jerk seasoning. Everybody makes jerk seasoning a different way. There's no right way to do it. I think it's all about the spices and flavors and the heat. So if you feel like you may not like a certain ingredient or you want to add more of a certain ingredient, you definitely can. You can flavor it however you want. There's no right way to do it. This is just the way my boyfriend learned to do it and we thought we would share it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. This is the first part of a three-part series, so we're gonna show you how to make jerk chicken as well as Jamaican rice and peas. So if you wanna see those videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!